So today on Hostess Coach, we are going to be making pistachio muffins. So delicious. If you've never had them or tried them, they're so e easy and so worth it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the dry ingredients here. I'm going to mix two cups of flour. And to that, I'm going to add the secret ingredient, which is one package of pistachio jello. Got two ways to see that. So I'm gonna make our muffins green too. So pistachio jello goes in. And then I'm going to add the two teaspoons of baking powder. Get these going in. One. Fill it up there. There we go. Two. And then I'm adding a teaspoon of cardamom. I recipe te uh, tested these. I read so many recipes and I kind of came up with my own combination and I tested these and they are so good. So a teaspoon of cardamom. I love cardamom anyway. So I saw a recipe that had cardamom and I'm like, oh, right on. We're doing that. Um, a quarter teaspoon of salt. A little bit more on there. So we'll pitch that somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> pitch that got a little heavy ha uh, handed there. So we're going to mix our dry ingredients. And I got them all in here. And then we're going to move on to our wet ingre ingredients. Let me push these over. And just to make this go faster, I'm going to use the mixer. And here I'm going to start with two eggs going in. Has anyone ever tried pistachio mu uh, muffins? Oh my gosh, they're so good. I had my first one. I was on a trip to Scottsdale and there had them at this bakery and everybody in front of me in the line was, was or ordering them. And I thought, wow, what is it about the pistachio mu uh, muffins? And I tasted one and then I knew. So then I was on a mission to make them. I'm going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then I have about a quarter cup of butter melted. This is unsalted. That's just what I use so I can control the salt myself. And then we're going to start to mix that up. I'm going to add the vanilla. We have uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. And then what makes this too, do not skip, skip this in my opinion is the almond e extract. Now a little bit of almond extract goes a long way. Um, so I am only putting a half a teaspoon but it really makes it and gives it the best flavor. So don't skip that almond and then let's get that, those eggs mixed up. Yum. Okay. And to this, while it's getting whipped up here, I'm going to add a third of a cup of buttermilk. Just because I had some, but some buttermilk, you can use regular milk too, but I'm using buttermilk just because I had some. You know how to make buttermilk. You put uh, just a teaspoon of uh, vinegar or lemon juice in regular milk and boom, you have buttermilk. Half a cup of sour cream. Going in. Oh my gosh. Yum. These are so good. They're not green yet. I want to get that sour cream all broken up. Yum. Just got everything in there. Eggs, that's some butter, extracts. Yep. That's it. And then I'm going to add the dry ingredients back to this. And I'm just going to mix it till it's just combined. Because I wouldn't do this normally in the mixer, but for time's, for time's sake, I'm doing it in the mixer. <laughs> Get the flour in there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to give that a quick mix. Oh, maybe I should remember to put the sugar in. <laughs> Good thing I looked over there. A half a cup of sugar gone in with the uh, liquid, but got it in there. And I'm 
I'm just going to mix this till combined. And that is now. It is combined and it is a beautiful shade of green. Look at that. Yum! Okay, so now I'm going to scoop it into my muffin cups and I will show you my hack for papers here. So these, this is just parchment and I uh, took a piece of parchment. They're about five inches square, put it over a can like this of what fits in, what fits in your, in your muffin tin and you just score it along the can to make a little crease and then stick it in the tin. You'll see they don't look so hot right now, but as soon as I put the filling in, they will be fine. So that is my muffin hack. If you're out of, mu of muffin tins or you want to um, have them be bakery style like this, this is the hack. So hold on, let me get the beater cleaned off a little bit here so we get all our muffins made. And this recipe, when I tested it, it made a dozen just perfect. So we will make a dozen right here, right now. So when you bake these, you put them in a 425 degree oven for about five minutes and then turn the temperature down to 375 for another 15 minutes or so until a toothpick comes out clean. And I'm using a scoop because it makes them the same size, makes them bake the same time. My papers are running for the hills. Well, let me get them going on here. Oh my gosh, doesn't it look like green pistachio ice cream? Yum. And these are so good. These are a great brunch item, lunch item after school. You surprise your kids on green eggs and ham day <laughs> with some green muffins or St. Patrick's Day would be great too. But see how when you get the muffin batter in them, they just settle right down to where the crease was that you made. So it works great. And then you have bakery style muffin liners. I have washed enough muffin tins in my time that I uh, prefer to use a liner because they're just too hard to clean. So there we go. I've got one rogue liner here that landed on my foot, so my foot's very clean. <laughs> I'm going to use it. Five second rule here. Okay. Boom. And there we go. So to add another little twist to, to, to these, I made some crumble topping. This is easy. It's half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of flour, and half a cup of butter melted. And this makes a little crumble for the top. And you just mix it in. I melted the butter. And boom, we're going to add a little crumble topping to these. Because, I mean, let's be real, right? The crumble topping is the, be is the best part, right? Now, when I recipe tested these, it was late, and I didn't feel like making the crumble topping because I was more concerned about what the the muffin was going to taste like. But this time, when I'm making them for you guys, I'm adding the crumble topping. And oh my goodness, these are going to be delicious. When I tested them, I just used some Turbino, some um, sugar in the raw, the brown coarse sugar, and sprinkled it on top with the pistachios. And it was good, so good that they made the cut, and I'm making them for you. Oh my gosh. I got plenty of, t of topping here, so I will go back and spread these out. But so you get the idea. We're going to put topping on these, and then we get one that has a lot of topping. And then I'm going to sprinkle some chopped shelled pistachios that I just chopped. I bought them. We have a Winco here, which things are in the bins. So it makes it really easy to buy things like this when you only need a few. So these are just chopped pistachios. I'm going to put those on top and then boom, you can see we have our topping, our pistachios, and then I'm going to bake them and you will see what they look like here shortly. But these are so delicious and so easy and that surprise ingredient of the pistachio pudding. So I'll be back to show you a baked one here in a minute. Okay, it's time to take these beauties out of the oven. So let's check it out here and see how they turned out. Boy, they smell delicious. So take a look at these beauties. 
pistachio muffins with crumble topping and some pistachios on top. Let's pick one and see uh, how they turned out, huh? Yum. Oh my goodness. Break that open so you can see. Look at that pretty green muffin. Oh my gosh. Yum. My crumble topping. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Looking for a new muffin to try. This is it. Delicious. I had a little bit of batter left, so I made a couple of these in the mini muffin pan. They turn out cute in this size too. Isn't that cute? So another delicious recipe. Let me know how yours turn out. Take a picture and tag me on social. Thanks for watching.